Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today I just want to talk a little bit about pressure and pressure unit conversions. So what is pressure? Well it says right here that pressure is the ratio of force to the area over which that force is distributed. And if we take a look at these four different pictures here, uh, what they all have in common is that a certain amount of pressure is, uh, is being exerted in each one of these pictures. For example right here, the Marine here that's doing the push-ups he is exerting a certain amount of force over this small given area on this little mat right here. All right, so there's a certain amount of pressure that this this marine is exerting uh, as he's doing this push up. If we take a look at this girl blowing up the balloon, once again, as she blows into this balloon, those air molecules are going to be uh, exerting a, a certain amount of pressure over the inside of this balloon right here. And same with the tire right here. Uh, in this example right here, there's air in this tire, and that air in this tire is exerting a certain amount of pressure over the walls that line the inside of this tire. All right, and this last uh, little picture right here just kind of shows you that the sidewall of a tire will actually indicate the maximum number or the uh, uh, a specific number of pounds per square inch or pressure that a tire should be inflated to. Okay, so let's jump right in and take a look at some different units of measurement that we can use to measure pressure. All right, we've got atmospheres or ATMs. We've got millimeters of mercury. We've got tors named after the Italian scientist Evangelista Torricelli. We've got kilopascals and we've got pounds per square inch. These are five different units of measurement that we can use to measure uh, how much pressure something uh, contains. All right, so what do all these guys or how do all these guys relate to one another well if you take a look at the bottom here it tells you that one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury which is equal to 760 torres which is equal to 101.3 kilopascals which is equal to 14.69 psi so if we have these conversion factors then converting between the different pressure units should be fairly easy and that's what we're going to do in this next slide Okay, in this slide, we're just going to go through a, a, a few different examples on how to convert between the different pressure units. Okay, so in number one here, it says that we have 2.5 atmospheres of pressure, and we want to know how many tors this is. So in this problem here, we are starting off with 2.5 atmospheres of pressure, and we want to know how many tors of pressure this is. So we have to come up with some sort of equivalent statement here relating atmospheres to torres. So we want to cancel out the unit atmosphere. So we're going to put that at the bottom of this next equivalent statement. And we want to convert this to torres. So we will put that at the top. And if we take a look at this right here, it tells you that 760 torres is the same thing as one atmosphere. All right, so now atmospheres will cancel out, leaving you with the unit tor. And when I put this in my calculator, I just take 2.5 times 760, and I should end up with 1,900 tors. Okay, let's look at the next one here. Okay, in this one here, we have 1,100 tors of pressure. And we want to know how many PSI this is. Okay, so we need to come up with some sort of equivalent statement here where we're going to cancel out tors, so we'll put that at the bottom, and convert to PSI, so we'll put that at the top. If we take a look at this right here, it tells you what that conversion is. It says that there are 14.69 PSI for every 600 and 760 tor. So we'll get our calculator out and end up with 21.262. I'm going to go ahead and round all these to the thousandths place. I will end up with 21.262. Let me fix this here. 21.262 PSI. Okay. Tors cancels out, leaving you with PSI. All right, so 1,100 tors of pressure is the same thing as 21.262. 62 pounds per square inch. Let's take a look at this next one here. We've got 350 kilopascals and we want to know how many atmospheres this is. 
So in this problem here, we want to cancel out kilopascals, so we'll put that at the bottom. And we're trying to convert to atmospheres, so we will put that at the top. If we take a look at the top right here, it says that one atmosphere is 101.3 kilopascals. KPA cancels. I take 350 times, or I'm sorry, uh, divided by 101.3, and I will end up with, it looks like, 3.455 atmospheres. Okay, let's take a look at this next one here. And this next one here, we've got 400 millimeters of mercury. And we want to know how many atmospheres of pressure this is going to be. So in our next equivalent statement here, we want to cancel out millimeters of mercury and convert this to atmospheres. And at the top right here, it tells you that one atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury. So I just take 400 divided by 760, and I will end up with 0 0.526 atmospheres of pressure. Once again, we're going to round all these to the thousands place. Let's take a look at this last one here. Okay, in this last one, we've got 40 pounds per square inch, or 40 PSI. And we want to know how many kPa this is, how many kilopascals this is. So we want to cancel out PSI. We'll put that at the bottom here. And we want to convert to, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, this is right. Here we go. We want to convert to kilopascals. So in this problem right here, it tells you right here that there are 101.3 kilopascals for every 14.69 PSI. So I take 40 times 101.3, and then I'm going to divide that by 14.69, and it looks like I'm going to end up with 275.834. Two hundred and seventy five point eight three four. This will cancel out, leaving you with kilopascals or kilopascals. Okay, so forty pounds per square inch is equal to two hundred and seventy five point eight three four kilopascals. All right, so there you go. There's pressure. There are some pressure unit conversions for you, and I hope this was helpful.